as of right now, Charlie is the only student in the Social Studies 5 class who has Social Studies 5 assignments. You can assign an entire class at the same time assignments from the assignment archive with one click. To do this, simply go up to the assignment tab and click on the assignment archive to look up your assignment. Be sure that my school is set in the availability and that the keyword search is set for 10-11 and begin your search. What we're going to do is select the same History 5 class and uh, assignment rather and assign it to the rest of the students in my Social Studies 5 class that I've set up in my teacher account. So from here like before when we assign just to Charlie click on assign to students except in the next view where Compass will give us a display of the students you might have noticed before that there's also a checkbox for the entire class so instead of assigning individually I'm now going to give this class this assignment to the entire class demo students 2, 3, 7, 8, and 10 as well as Charlie now you'll notice that Charlie doesn't have a checkbox next to his name here. This is because the system is communicating to you that this student, Charlie Brown, already has this assignment. So you can't accidentally double assign an assignment to a student. So it allowed me to select the entire class and now I'm going to hit finish. On the confirmation screen it communicates to me that the following History 5 class, History 5 assignment was assigned to the following student accounts and I can hit close. Now to verify this of course I could go into each of the student accounts but they might be logged on at the same time and I, I'm trying to get away from that. I want to build faith in checking the accuracy of my assignments from my teacher account. What I'm going to do is look in assignment status and view the status of an assignment. Now let's look up that, ass that assignment in the archive and it's in, in school here and the keywords are 10-11. Let's look up the History 5 class and view its status. So here we go, History 5, view status to see how many students are enrolled in it. And there we go. Those are all the students in my class. They all have History 5. That's, that's great. And we can see one student, Charlie, he, it's even in progress. He started it already. If I want to see the class progress, I can click on the class progress button here. And I can see in my social studies class, it lets me see all the different aspects of the different students in my social studies class. For example, if I click on Demo Student 2, there I can see that this particular student was assigned History 5, that was by me, and also this particular student has Algebra 1, probably used from another demonstration. Demo Student 3 also has the same, 5 and Algebra 1. Demo Student 10 was used a little bit more often in some previous demonstrations you can see. And if we look at Charlie, he just has the one, the History 5, from this series of demonstrations. Now next to each you can see the details. So if I click on the details button, I get a list of details basically giving me another overview of what Charlie has accomplished. But keep in mind this 30%, so on and so forth, is only a glimpse into the first attempt that Charlie made at this particular quiz. For a more accurate report, we'll want to watch the reports tutorial, specifically the student progress reports tutorial, later on in this video tutorial series. To see the entire course, 
like I could in the archive, I can simply click on the course name right here. And it opens up the same view that I saw earlier when I was previewing the course. But now over here in this class progress view. So that's how you assign assignments to an entire class at a time. And you verify that the assignments were given correctly over in the assignment status area where you search by the course by that assignment. And you can also verify it in the class progress view to see where your students are and how far they've worked. 